Hey there guys and welcome to Stormworks Build and Rescue, a game that allows you to build whatever you like to accomplish various missions and uh, yeah, advancing your technologies and other things like that and just build, build, build and yeah, complete missions. And this, today we're going to be picking up some engineers and they need to be delivered to a wind, a wind turbine. English so hard uh, this is my helicopter Oop, failed a submarine mission I don't have a submarine so yeah start her up so yeah I built this helicopter and it's a pretty simple basic thing but it does the job now this game it's not graphic intensive um, so so to speak, it's um, physics based. We're not too far away from it, actually. So, yeah, it's a physics based um, game, this one. And that can be a bit hammering, I think, on the processor. But it's not too bad. Right. Nearly there. I'm actually flying the helicopter using the auto hover at the moment. I don't really need to travel that speed at this time. Uh, so it just sort of like makes it a little bit easier to fly it. Alright, here we go. Ah, good, good. They're waiting for me just there. Now they're a bit dumb, these guys. You can get them to follow you. Yeah? Like this. But uh, they will actually get in the vehicle. That's actually manhandle them. Right. You do alright there, pal. Alright, let's get them in there. Alright. Yeah, it's not too far a distance really to travel with this, so hmm. Let's disable auto hover. Yeah, I've got an uh, altitude meter that I set up there. Allows me to uh, make sure I'm not getting too close to sea level while I'm flying. Speedometer here. Basic thing. The uh, designs that I come up with in this are really quite basic. I've seen some really amazing uh, design work on uh, some uh, ships and things like that from players. And I tell you what, some seriously uh, advanced technical stuff with lots of buttons and stuff. Whoa. Probably don't want to be flying into the blades. Level her up. There we go. Mission complete. And I got one research point, a foghorn, and eleven thousand dollars for that. Not too bad. Not shabby. Alright, get out. Get off. Get off. Stop following me. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna head back now. Let's see where I am. Let's return the chopper to uh workbench. All about it. Nice shortcut getting back home again. I'm going to head back into my shelter. I've got a couple of islands. I've got what this one here allows me to have a helicopter. Um, there's the typical starting one over there. Where 
which I don't use too much of now. And I've, where is it? I've got another one down here with a boat. Uh, it's a tiny boat, considering that this island caters for big shipping vessels, uh, which I don't have yet. I'm, I'm still in the process of designing and building one, and it's taken a long time. Medivac rig worker. Okay. All right, what's this one? No rig worker has become critically ill and need urgent care. Transport the worker to the hospital for treatment. Okay, let's see how far is he. Open door. 2.1. It's not too far, would it? Hmm. Where is it? Where's the target? There. Tell you what, I'll get my uh, boat out for this one. Get the uh, old boat out for this one. And we'll travel by sea. It's going to be a bit rough. Job! Whee! Right. Pilot see. I need to upgrade this a little bit and we get a key, an engine, uh, a key engine in. It's not particularly the fastest um, ship out there, but it does the job. That's the speedometer, engine power being used. Again, really quite a simplistic little boat this. But it's done, uh, done the job. I've used it to tow huge uh, broken down vessels. Can be a little bit tricky though when the uh, seas get rough. Let's turn the lights on. Well, I do enjoy this game. I like it. It's, uh, like I said, graphically, it seems pretty basic, but I'll tell you what, when the weather kicks in big time and you get in storms and everything else, it can be treacherous out here. Ooh, sun's rising. What a beautiful sight that is. Try to keep my eyes open as well. Sometimes you can actually find um, boxes floating around in the ocean and uh, you can have goodies in there. Find uh, things like uh, uh, blueprints, parts for the different uh, vehicles, because you can actually construct all different kinds of uh, vehicles, you know, like helicopters, aeroplanes, land vehicles, ships, boats, even submarines, which is something I'm wanting to explore, actually trying to build. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do it yet. I've just got to understand how a submarine works. And I'm going to want to build it to a basic level, a simple level to suit me, simple me. Ooh, will it fit under there? Just. Alright. Turn her off. Alright, let's go and get him. Would have been an awful lot quicker if I'd just used my helicopter, but I, I seem to use my helicopter a lot and I don't travel by sea very often. Not, and I think that can be a bit of a thing because you'll find... You're carrying them on my back. Ooh, are you comfortable there? Are you all right there, mate? <laughs> yeah. Um, but once you get um, an air ve vehicle, it's very easy to just suddenly decide to just do it the quickest way, and that's travelling by air. It tends to be the safest way as well, especially in storm. Um, your vehicle can be affected by wind and stuff. Right. Here we go. Alright. But it can get a little bit tricky to fly aircraft because there's uh, also wind as well, which can um, cause your aircraft to, well, blow in different directions and all that. So it can be a little bit tricky to handle them. How far have we got? 1.3. 
So what we'll do, when I've uh, delivered this guy, we'll have a quick look at the construction screen where you uh, do your building and, and show you the basics of how things work. There are um, logics that you can use and really quite complex ones. They're a bit off my head, to be honest with you, and something I need to delve into, I think. But this time, the vehicles that I build do the job. I've got a nice toe on the back, fully functional as well with a magnet. It's also uh, possible to have, um, have damage as well. I haven't got that enabled at this time. I think I will actually, because that's something they'd uh, put in an update just, uh, I think, about a month ago or so. Like that. It's pretty recent anyway. Oop. Off. Right. Go on, mate. Why am I carrying you? You can follow me. Come on, you lazy sod. There we go. Right, come on. Right, done. That's another mission accomplished. So, yeah, there's quite a few um, different missions. Oh! A nice variety of mission types that you can uh, do, so and keep you busy. So yeah, here's the create a vehicle mode. So this is the boat that I built, and let's see. If you look at the logics, it does say, all seem complicated, um, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Here I've got my two engines that I've got them in the, the my lower hull. Here I've got a linear speed sensor, so I can track the speed got lights, uh, got the propulsion, the steering rudders, and yeah, all here. It's just basically just connecting um, various things, like we've got my toggle um, button switched to, uh, connected to the engines. In fact, actually, I'm going to switch that out. So let's see, let's zoom in here a little bit. I want to change that out for a key. So, right, let's turn mirroring off because you can actually uh, have it where you build, you can work on one side, it'll mirror the other side, which I think is brilliant, actually. Very helpful. Right, let's have a look. So, yeah, we've got wheels, we've got um, seats as well. It's compatible with the Holtus controller, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, if you have one and you can actually uh, build using one of these and assign all your controls to your Holtus. And yeah, we've got fin rudders, throttle lever, uh, toggle button. Where's the key? There it is. All right, let's put that in. Rotate it that way a bit. Yeah, that's it. Right, I'm gonna repaint that a little bit. I want it to match the color scheme inside. Oh, and gone. Uh, right, why is that not painting? Ah, paint mode. I need to switch to brush mode. Because you can actually uh, choose additive. That would change the colour of the um, panel display side things. Oh, duh. Let's put that there. Alright, switch that back to that. Be really simple today. All right, additive. There we go. And you can replace colors, plain fill, so it'll fill all the blocks connected to a certain area. So now I need to. Ooh, I need to sort that out. Right, let's see, can I zoom into that? Can I paint these? Paint. Oh, change the color again. There we go. It's a bit better. Right. Okay. So now I need to go into my logics. 
Uh, let's see, it's so all key activated. I'm gonna time that to the engines. So that'll turn the engines on and off. Uh, I can assign the key uh, the control to a button as well. So let's see. So on the seat, there are different hotkeys on here. So pilot seat occupied. So that's the sensor that you, um, you can use to trigger an event when you uh, get in it. Let's see, have I, what have I got? That's three. I've got one and two binded to throttle. So let's see. Um, hotkey three, I'll assign it to hotkey three. So then I can press and hold hotkey three to start the engine. And let's save that. Yes, overwrite. Okay, uh, I think we're good to go now on that. So let's just put that to the test. So spawn it. Right. Let's see. So three. There we go. Yeah, that works great. Spot on that. If I press three again, that turns the engine off. Spot on that. Yeah, impressed with that. Simple or logical. So yeah, I've got a winch on the back which allows me to tow. So here I've got the magnet button. As you can see, just actually if I zoom there you go see that the light is lit up on it that shows that the magnet is engaged it will uh, latch onto any other magnet that's in, uh, engaged I've got the winch controls so I'll winch down and winch up and let's bring it back up again Actually, I think another thing I want to do, I'm going to return this to workshop. I wouldn't mind upgrading my engines, to be if I'm honest. Right, let's see. Right, let's go under here. I'm trying to think where I place the engine. So I'm just going to remove these. Yeah, see the engine there. Because one thing I'm uh, having a bit of an issue with at the moment is that the boat's not as fast as I'd like it. So let's remove the engines. Um, I'm going to change the color back to white again. Where's my engines? There's one. So I'm, I'm actually going to try and fit an aircraft engine into it. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit tall. Can I? I don't think I can actually trim that anymore. Let's have a look. That probably eat my deck. Yes, it will. Ah, right. Let's see. Um, I tell you what. What I might try to do. Let's remove that. We'll place the engine. want to try and keep it somewhat level place that engine and then what I might do is let's see see if I can get this to work tweak the design of the boat a bit no that's not that's not right Hmm. Yeah, actually, yeah, I've got it. I get it. All right. So, oh, I should have mirrored it. Ah. Right. Tell you what, let's scrap them again, and then we'll mirror it. All right. So I want wedges. So yeah, as you're developing your and learning new technologies, you actually find you'll 
actually do a lot of uh, modifying of existing builds as you get technology to advance them. Let's turn that round. There we go. All right, I'm flatten that out now. Oh, I've got one more to put in there, one more wedge. So let's turn that, put that there. There we go. And let's just fill these in like that. Okay, so now we need to do the logics again. Um, I want to assign that to the new engine. I'm going to put fluid pump, uh, rudder. I want the ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, hang on. Power, yeah. So I want to sign the power to that and that fluids composite. Right. The uh, throttle I need to assign ah, to that. And I think I'm good to go now. I think I am anyway. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that um, as a different vehicle so um ss impul mini save All right let's spawn that in the world and see if that's worked out or if i've made a hash of it Ooh. hoping um that that engine isn't too heavy. Otherwise, I might have to. Right, let's just see what. Now, this engine's going to be a huge upgrade. a little better. Now let's turn it back. It's not applying as much power as I um, hope. Might be that I also need to get bigger um, propeller shaft things for the uh, back of it. Let's just bring it back. Turn to workbench. Logic. Actually, I can I um, select. So I've already I've got the max power already set for it. So I can't really adjust that. I don't think I've got bigger um, propel shafts. Let's have a look. Not yet. No, still only got the small ones at the moment. So, um, when I've got bigger shafts, all that should hopefully benefit the um, the power of the boat. So let's have a look. So let's spawn. Whoop. Right now, what I'm going to do? Let's have a look. So let's research. So I want land vehicles, large boats. Ah, so 
yeah, so I can actually um, get new engines. Quick check and research. Rescue equipment. Uh, five bytes. So there's a lot of things that you can actually learn. So basic mechanics. Right, yeah, it looks like there isn't an actual... Yeah, giant propeller, diesel engine, hinge connector. So I'll tell you what, let's start re uh, uh, the research of that. So I'm going to research large boats, uh, land vehicles. Yeah, I've not got enough for them at the moment. Helicopters. So I've got large rotor. I think I've already got one of them gyro landing floats. Control surface small hmm. planes. Ah, so you can actually um, research jet engine stuff and things like that. Yeah, and parachutes. Awesome. So yeah, there's a lot that you can uh, actually uh, do in this game. You can actually just build to your heart's content if you want. Um, I think there's a building mode where you don't require cash to uh, uh, build things, which is pretty cool. So you can just get creative and then take them out and uh, try them out um, and have loads of fun doing that. But yeah, that's a quick look at Stormworks Build and Rescue. And I've got to say, I do, I do love this game. I've sunk a number of hours into this. It's uh, climbing constantly and i've still got lots of learning to do and i really need to start getting into some bigger builds i won't mind building a big ship which i've started on but there's not really anything to show for it at the moment um which i could then put a helicopter onto maybe a backup boat and um maybe get a land vehicle but i've not come across any missions that require the land vehicles yet so but anyway if you've uh, enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That really helps me out a lot. And why not ring that little bell to be notified of future content. If you've got any suggestions of uh, what I should do in this video, say it out in the comments down below. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>